them are on the hunt for a sexual predator after an armed attack inside a ballpark concession stand. News Center 5's John Atwater talked to the victim tonight, and he's live in Waltham. John? And Heather, she had had a busy day Saturday. That's why she was here so late. It was close to midnight. She was inside the concession stand here stalking when a man came in with a knife. She was trapped. He had on a ski mask and was holding a knife. The volunteer Little League mother had no place to go. Only one door in the small building, and the man was making frightening demands. And he said, take off everything. And I whimpered a little bit. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, take off everything. I was just panicking. I was, I was in complete panic. We're protecting the woman's identity because the man's still on the loose. She says he threatened her with a knife at least eight inches long. He had a really big Rambo knife um, and just held it up. And that's all I kept looking at was the knife. But somehow, in a split second, she built up the courage to make a move she credits with saving her life. I was just panicking, and I was just, I, I, don't know. I just ran, ran into the street and started screaming as loud as I could, help, help, help me, help me. Just down the street, she found this fire alarm box, which alerted authorities to an emergency at the Lazaro playground. It's just the dust from where they fingerprinted. Other volunteers are hoping enough clues were left behind to lead police to the violent criminal. I just hope that whoever this person is gets caught before he harms someone or kills somebody. And key to potentially finding this suspect is looking at surveillance video. Right now, police are taking a look at some video from a business right across the street. Live in Waltham tonight, John Atwater, WCVB News Center 5.